Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new primetime performers in the game. Now I'm also going to be doing uh, weekly rewards and my 6 win mutt draft rewards. So I'll show you guys that if you don't know where to get those from. Uh, but I'm going to be doing a 50,000 subscriber Q&A. So if you guys want to submit any questions to the Q&A, go on over to Twitter, type in any question you want and then put the hashtag Zerk50. Okay, so of course, whenever we have 50,000 subscribers, I'll be having that Q&A out for you guys. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that sub button and smack the like button down below. But the primetime performers for today are Casey Hayward and Jordan Howard. Now, right now, they're not going for a ton, ton. Uh, it's not like they're going to go for a million coins, but Jordan Howard, 735K, Casey Hayward, 850,000 coins. Now, I know that is a lot of coins, but I'm saying they're not going for like a million. So, Casey Hayward, 850,000 coins. I don't even know if they're selling this much, honestly. Uh, you can see Casey Hayward compared to Slay. 90 speed, 90 XL. Meh. But the play rank, the man, the zone, the press, very, very good. He also has pretty decent block shit and hit power. Uh, but the speed is really kind of too low for me. Now, Jordan Howard as well. Not a bad looking card at all. But I personally like Zeke. Two more speed. Five more agility, two less carry, but he also has three more catching, two more looseness. Actually, has five more break tackle than Jordan Howard. The biggest difference is obviously the trucking. He does have 15 more trucking. So if you need like a goal line back, uh, if you like to run it a lot in like third and one, third and two, Jordan Howard's probably gonna be better for you. But you also have Ricky Williams, who's 89 trucking himself. Same speed, one less excel, same agility. Carrying is less, catching is better, a looseness better, and also break tackle. So it's up to you. Personally, though, I like Zeke over Jordan Howard. But, of course, you can also power up Jordan Howard, too. So, keep that in mind as well. But I want to show you guys where I actually was able to get these Mud Draft rewards. If you're curious, if you want to go ahead and get them, it's actually a really, really good uh, way to actually get some coins. Now, also, Series 2, uh, or actually, yeah, Series 2, Season 2, uh, for this Mud Draft will be ending probably in like a couple weeks, maybe like a month or something. So if you guys get gold, you get elite, whatever, you do get some rewards. I made a video on the Series 1 rewards, so you can check that video out if you don't know what it is. Now, I played the ranked one. So I believe this is the one for the ranked. Uh, is this the ranked one? Yeah, this is the ranked one. So this is with the five tickets. So I used five of tickets to enter this, which they do cost, I believe, like 15,000 coins total. So in order to get your tickets back or your tickets worth, you need to get at least three out of the six wins. And then you get two extra tickets, six Series 3 trophies, uh, and then, of course, you also get yourself a contender pack. Now, I got six wins, so I got 30,000 coins, five tickets, 15 Series 3 trophies. I also got two competitive champion packs and two competitive contender packs. Now, in the champion packs, we have two 68 overall silver better players, 272 gold or better, and 376 gold or better. In the competitive contender, you have 72 gold or better, 76 gold or better, and 37 or 68 silver or better. So also you can take a coin option uh, instead of the champion pack, I believe. So really, you get 20,000 coins, or you can get what is it like 30k, I think. Uh, there, yeah, 30,000 coins. So you get two of those. So you can make 80,000 coins plus get your tickets back if you just win all six games. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get into these packs. We do have weekly rewards and these packs. So hopefully we can pull ourselves. Maybe actually a pretty good limited edition pull. Now, I did pull limited edition Lamar Jackson. I'm not really sure if I'm going to count it or not, though. I think I will, but I feel like I'll forget about it later in the year. It's only an 85 overall, but it technically was a limited edition pull, seeing how he's only back for a couple of days. So, I guess technically it does count. I'm still kind of iffy on it, though. Uh, midfield pack, though. Last one. Can we get the lead? We do not. So, that's not really a good sign. If you start off with no good midfields. Let's switch it up and do the competitive contender pack and see if we're able to get anything out of this. Let's see, do we get, okay, so it's not a quick sell option. You have to do these packs. We get an elite, 80 right, oh boy. I don't know how much Mahomes goes for, but I think it's actually quite a bit. So that actually might go for like 20,000 coins, somewhere around there. On to the next competitive contender pack though. We get another elite, 81 Eric Weddle to start off, not bad. Can we get two? We don't, but 
that rising star Patrick Mahomes could definitely be something glitchy. So we'll see about that. Now, if I decided to take the quick sells for this, we'd have 125k for this, and then we'd also have 60k. We could have 100. Oh boy, I almost picked the coins. Uh, we'd have 180,000 coins if I just took the quick sells instead of taking the packs. But you gotta risk it when there's limited time pulls and packs available. Buster screen. Is it Buster Grind? I think, I think, I think it's actually said screen. Uh, 82 Chandler Jones. And yeah. Buster Brown. <laughs> on to the next red zone pack, though. So because it's 25k and the other one's 30,000 coins, I'd imagine that one probably has a little bit better pack odds. Hopefully, anyways. As we start off with a Harvest Player, 79. We get a low elite team of the week. 82 Desmond King. That's an old one. A legend. 84 Sean Taylor. And another elite, 80 Jerry Hughes. So Harold Landry goes for like 2K. Desmond King is probably like 7K. Uh, and then Sean Taylor is like 20,000 coins plus like another 5,000 coins for Jerry Hughes. We actually did make 25K off that pack. So let's get into the competitive champion pack. And let's see what this one comes with. I honestly don't even know if it's going to be good or not. But let's go ahead and do this. See if we can get something glitchy out of this. We get starting off a silver. Uh, we get a Hall of Fame player. We also get another Harvest player. A power up. Levante David, not very good. And yeah. So the first pack was not very good. Second competitive champion pack. Let's see. Can we get anything good out of this? Honestly, that first pack was not very good for the competitive champion. Uh, can we get another Hall of Fame player at least? I'll take that, I guess. Harvest, Elite, 86 Casey Hayward. That actually might be going for a lot. Seeing how we just got the primetime performer, that actually might be going for a decent amount. So we're going to end it off with the touchdown pack. And 75,000 coins a quick sell, or we can take the pack. Please give me a primetime performer, man. I have zero primetime performers all year. 86 Keenan, we get another 86 Charger. 84 Joe Staley. Ah, oh, man. 81 Ken Crawley. So we ended off with an 86 Keenan Allen. Now, honestly, we might have made a decent amount of coins just strictly off that Casey Hayward because he did just get that primetime performer. So let's see. Uh, why don't we just pull it? Honestly, that wasn't too bad, I guess. I mean, it wasn't very great, but it wasn't terrible at all. Uh, Keenan Allen. Let's see. 40K? Really? Holy crap. Okay. Uh, Casey Hayward. 55,000 coins. Wow. Okay, so that we made 95K just off those two. Sean Taylor. Why is he going for 90K? <laughs> I guess he's going for 90 because there's just not a lot up. I'm going to put him up for like... Not 90K. I'm going to put him up for like 30K. Maybe you'll sell. I don't know. We'll drag on that. I'm going to guess like 25K. So I'll say 115,000 coins. Uh, 82 Desmond King is actually 10k so we're at 125 and then i'm not gonna check jerry hughes because he's not even worth it uh chandler jones is 10k i think about 135 and then how much is rising stars patrick mahomes Twenty thousand coins now i could probably sell him for 25 so i'm gonna say 160k that's not too bad now we would have made a little bit more coinage if we decided to take the quick sales at the same time though we also did get some harvest golds and a hall of fame player which the harvest golds go for like a couple thousand coins each like 2500 coins whatever so not a lot i think we definitely made over 200,000 coins of opening all these packs plus the gold players that we got honestly not too bad uh power up wise i don't think we got any we got levante david that was literally it uh for power ups and we also did get keenan allen so Eh, not the best pack opening, but it could have been a lot, lot worse. So not a terrible pack opening, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe me, comment. Remember, guys, go on Twitter, hashtag Zerk50K. Submit any questions you guys have. As soon as I hit 50,000 subscribers, I'll push out that Q&A video to you guys. 
So make sure you guys go ahead and hit that sub button down below if you're not already subscribed. Uh, I also might have another video coming out for you guys later tonight as well. Uh, kind of got to decide on what I want to do. I have quite a few video ideas. And then tomorrow, of course, we have the Blitz players which you'll be able to, be able to buy with training. So I think I might actually make that video for you guys tonight to show you guys how to do it tomorrow. Uh, how to buy players with training because uh, I know I've gotten a lot of comments and a lot of people on Twitter asking me, how do you buy players with training? So I'm going to go over what players you can buy and then exactly like maybe how to get like the cheapest training points for that stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smack the like button, subscribe and comment. Let me know down below what you guys got out of your weekend league rewards. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.